my channel. I know it has been a minute since I uploaded last. These last few weeks have been so crazy and then the footage that I did have that I was going to upload I think the week before Thanksgiving apparently like completely did not pick up anything that I was saying. I don't know what it was. So anyway this is a look that I did a poll on on my Instagram and I got a lot of yes please film a tutorial on this look votes. So here it is. It's just honestly like a pink, gold, glittery-ish cut crease. I don't really know what I'm calling it, but this is it. Possibly just one of my first holiday looks. It's, you know, pretty, I don't know. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get to the tutorial. Oh, actually, but before that, I just wanted to show you all just some things I'm really excited about that I got in the mail finally. If any of you are also subscri subscribed to Desi Perkins' channel, you know that she has that collaboration with Key Australia. And I finally got my hands on these Saharas. So excited to finally have a pair of these in my sunglass arsenal. And then I got the OTL 2s or on the low 2s. Um, I believe these come in all black, so you could also get them like that. I'm just, you know, more of a tortoiseshell gal, but yeah. Check them out. They're not the most inexpensive sunglasses, but you're definitely getting what you pay for. Should I'll link it down below if you want. So yeah, anyway, getting back to the tutorial. Here we go. See you at the end. <laughs> All right, so to start, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 10 and the It Cosmetics Concealer Brush. Just gonna do what I normally do and prime my eyes. All right, now I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and tap that all over the concealer so we prevent any creasing. So I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take Creamsicle right here to start as my transition shade and I'm going to be using a Morphe M441 brush it's just like a long tapered blending brush. Just gonna put that in the crease area. And you can be sloppy with this because we will be cutting the crease. We wanna make sure that there is enough of this color that when we go in with all the other colors, it will still you know, peep through. Okay, so next, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, but I am going to take Eden, this pretty color right here, and go over top that creamsicle color. So now that we have these two colors down, I'm going to carve out the crease area, and for that, I'm going to use the tiny little baby Morphe brush that I have, and that same Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to take my finger and just blend that out. So my cut crease is done. I'm going to take Angelic. It is this really pretty pink shadow with gold reflex in it. I'm actually going to take it on my finger and apply it that way. And then I will go in with this pencil brush here and just tap it where I need it. Since my finger can't reach in every place. And you know, this could, I mean, work as a holiday look. It just really depends like if you want it to be a holiday look, I guess. So next I'm going to take Nefertiti, this really pretty pure gold shade. I'm going to do the same thing and just tap it on the outer part or blending it into the colors we had down before. And we are going to go in and deepen this like outer corner here. So I wouldn't focus too much of the gold 
on said outer corner. Next, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take saffron and deepen up this like outer corner area, just to give it a little bit more depth because when I did it the first time, it just felt like it was missing something. Just tap it over here. Blending it into those other colors. All right. I did do wing liner when I did this, so I will go ahead and get that done and out of the way. Gonna jump ahead for this part, probably. I think that's pretty damn good. All right, now that that's over, I'm going to move on to my face. For this, I'm just going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect con uh, Concealer Foundation, and I'm going to mix in my Cover Effects Drops in Celestial to prime my face. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Recently, I have not been using my beauty sponges as much. I have really been enjoying using the Morphe R6. It is like flat top, kind of like a stippling brush, I guess. And I just like the finish that it gives my foundation. I don't know if like my skin is just improving. It just makes it look very airbrushed, almost. Cause I mean, I do have breakouts right now from like hormonal shit, stress, you know, all the, all the good stuff. All right, so my face is done. Now I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and the It Cosmetics airbrush concealer brush. Same one I used earlier. And I'm just going to blend it all out underneath here. All right, and then I'm just going to set my under eye. So I'm going to finish up under the eyes and I'm going to go in with saffron on this same Morphe R41 brush. And what I like to do is doing the darker color first and then blending it out with the lighter color. I don't know if I wanna go in with creamsicle again. Kind of just like it as it is. But I do want a little bit more definition underneath my lash line. Just because mine aren't thicker down there, they're long. So I'm just going to lightly take on this e.l.f. flat definer brush. I'm going to go in with Oud. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's this like reddish brown shadow right here. And I'm just going to lightly tap into that and give myself a little bit of definition right here underneath. All right, that's that. I think next, I'm just, just going to highlight like the upper part of my cheekbones. I'm actually going to take that foundation brush again that I used and just blend that all in. And instead of doing circular motions with this brush, I am tapping. So it basically just gets really pressed into the skin. Now I'm going to literally set my entire face. I'm just going to do this real quick. All right, for these little areas, I'm just going to blend this out here cover any redness. Come on again with this foundation brush and just blend it out. I'm gonna leave my nose a little bit longer so that it gives it a little bit more of a defined shape. So while we wait for that, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Flushed little three packet. I use this quite a few times. Um, and I'm just going to bronze my face. Actually, I'm going to highlight first and then bronze because recently I feel like it makes my skin look really muddy if I don't do the highlight first. All right, I'm just going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus. Just ooh, put that highlight right over it just as it's still a little bit damp. This is actually like one of my favorite highlights that I've used and I don't know why I stopped using it. All right, now I'm gonna go do my nose and blend this all out. So now I'll do the bronzer and I'm taking a Morphe M500 brush. And I'm just going to hug my highlight. And I do wear glasses throughout the day so I do make sure that the sides of my nose are really set so that when I take them off or anything like that, there's not like missing foundation on the sides of my nose. And I believe this one is in, this one is in streak. I realize I, that they have like three of them. Apply some blush and I'm using the e.l.f. This is like a foundation blurring, bl blurring brush, but I've been using it for my blush. Just to melt that into bronzer. All right, I'm going to do my brows. 
obviously not gonna go super in depth on this. All right, so my brows are done. I'm going to use this sample I have of the MAC False Lashes in Extreme Black for mascara. I actually really like this one. And I'm going to pop on false lashes after this, but this is definitely a look that you don't need them. You could just leave them alone. All right, I'm going to go in with my Ardell Foam Ink Lashes in Style 811. I'm going in with the Duo Brush Adhesive. It's the green pack. And I making sure that there's enough on the very ends so that we don't have any problems. Alrighty, false lashes are on. I'm now going to line my lips and apply lip color. I'm going to be using NYX Lip Liner Crayon in Mauve. So I'm going to go in with the NYX, NYX Lingerie in Exotic. It's probably my favorite, one of my favorite lip colors I've ever worn. All right, then yeah, this completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I will definitely not be slacking on my upload game this month because I have so many ideas, especially since, you know, it's the holidays. Christmas is my favorite time of year. After Halloween, obviously. I just love this season so much. So be on the lookout. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you click that button below. And if you wanna get notifications for every time I post, make sure you hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. So I will see you in my next video. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, if you want. So yeah, anyway, on to the tutorial. Yeah. I'll see you guys at the end. Peace out. All right, I'm done being weird.